Hey guys, what's up? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to upload an image using Laravel, and it's very simple. And here's an example, so we can choose a file, we can choose the image that we want to upload, and then we can simply click on the Upload button, and it'll show us a message, and then we'll also upload to our Uploads folder. So that's what we're going to be going over in this video, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first step we're going to want to do is create a new Laravel application. So I'm going to use the Laravel installer and say Laravel new, and I'm going to call this Project Uploader. Okay, so after that has finished downloading your new Laravel app, then we can go ahead and list out the directory, and you'll see that we have a new uploader folder. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that directory, and I am going to start up a local server. I'm just going to do that by running php artisan serve and that will bring up a localhost on localhost 8000. So if I open up Chrome and I go to localhost 8000, then we have a blank Laravel page in front of us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open this up in my favorite text editor. So I will open this up in Sublime Text. I'm gonna move my upload folder over there. And the file that we're gonna edit is just the default welcome page, which is inside of resources, views, and welcome. So I'm going to go ahead and add, just say a title here, just so you can see we're making changes to this page. I'll just say hello, and I will open this up in the browser, and you can see that we have changed the text in there. So this is where I'm going to put the form. So I actually have a little snippet here called form upload. And this, what this does is create it's just a simple form uh, with a method post and an ink type of multi-part slash form data. You will need that for uploading files. Then we have an input file and a submit button. And I will have all this code posted below the video, so you can go ahead and copy and paste it if you need to. So I'm going to make a little bit of changes here. I'm going to say that this is a label, and then I'm going to add a header up here too and just say file upload. And after I add that, I'm going to save, and then I will reload the page, and you'll see that we have a simple file uploader in front of us. And I'm going to add just a little bit more style here. So maybe I want to have the input type. Maybe I want to give the submit button a little bit more style. Maybe I can give it a background of kind of like a light blue background. And we don't want there to be any border, but we want there to be a border radius of five pixels. Let's also give the form a little bit of styles too. I'll say background. We want that to be kind of like a light gray color, actually kind of off white. Then we want to have padding of 20 pixels and a border radius. Let's give it uh, 10 pixels. Let me go ahead and save that. Reload the page, and it looks a little bit nicer. Let's add some more styles to uh, this upload button. So we also probably want the color to be white. We want it to have a padding of about 10 pixels. And we want margin, let's say 20 pixels in auto. So let's refresh that. Okay, that looks a little bit nicer. Um, I could also make my the label have maybe a margin right. So I could say label margin right 20 pixels. Okay, so that looks a little bit nicer, and uh, you can always modify this as much as you need, and I'll have all the code posted below so you can simply copy and paste. So right now we can choose a file, and we could select a file, and then click on open, and then we could say upload, but right now uh, nothing is actually going to happen, and we're actually going to get an error because this token mismatch is saying that we need to have a token associated with our form. And what this prevents is it prevents from cross-site requests, so nobody else will be able to post to your site uh, unless you have a correct token. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I can say that I want a input type hidden, and Laravel has this all already built in. So we can say the value is going to be csrf underscore token. And the name of this is going to be underscore token. And let me also make this route to go to I want it to post to a route called upload. So I will then need to go into my routes file, which is located in app HTTP routes, and then I will need to add that route. So I'm going to say route post. So once we post to the upload route, then let's just go ahead and print something out on the screen. Let's just print out echo hello. So I'm going to go ahead and reload this page and unexpected routes. Okay. Let 
And let's see, okay, we actually need CSRF token, and then we need the open and close parentheses. So if I reload that, and we go ahead and choose a file, and we click on open, and then we click on the upload button, then sure enough, we have the text right there that just says hello. So we know that it's hitting that route, but what we need to do is actually create a new controller, and then we're actually going to upload the file to our server. And that is pretty easy. Let's go ahead and go back to our routes, and we can say that we want this to point to an upload controller and the upload method. So now we need to create a new controller and let's say a new file. Actually, I'm just gonna copy and paste a welcome controller. So I'll say new file, I'll paste that in. We don't need anything inside. So I can go ahead and just remove all of this. And I can say that we want it to be a public function and we call this method upload. So this is where the code is going to be run whenever we upload to that route. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of the controller to upload controller. And I will call this upload controller.php. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And to make sure that everything is functioning correctly, I'm just gonna write out another echo uploaded. And I'll add a break in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and then we'll give our page another test. So we choose the file, we choose the picture, and we click open, and then upload. And then it gives us the message that's saying that we have uploaded the file, even though we have not done anything yet, which is why we're going to do that right now. First thing that we'll need to do is we need to see if this is actually a file. So we'll say, if the input has a file, and what we're looking for is actually the name is file, because if you see inside of our welcome, the type is file and the name is actually file as well. So that's what we're looking for to see if that exists. And if that does, then we're gonna go ahead and go forth with the, with the upload. And one thing to note is with uh, Laravel 5 using namespaces, um, we are out of the input namespace. So above the class, we will need to say use slash input as input. So now we can just say if input instead of saying if slash input. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to store this file in a variable called file. And I'll just say input file, file. And then we will want to move this file to an uploads directory. So this is gonna go to our public slash uploads. And then I want this to, I want the name of the file to be the original name. So if we upload an image called pic.pn.jpg, then it'll be the same. So original name. And again, you can copy and paste all this stuff if you need to. If it doesn't quite make sense, then I'm sure it soon will after going through this a couple times. So I'm gonna go ahead and echo out the image. And then we also need to get the name of the image, put it inside of the image contents. Okay, and we'll also wanna make sure that we're looking in the uploads directory. So we want to echo out the image that has a source of upload slash and then the original file name. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and then go back to our page and I will say choose file. Then I'll want to upload this pic.jpg and then I'll click on the upload button. And we have uploaded but it doesn't look like that anything got printed out to the screen. So let's go ahead and see what happened here. Let's go ahead and look inside of our uploader and our public and our uploads. So you can see that the image actually did get uploaded, but we did not print that out. And that's because I have a good old syntax error here. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna refresh the page and sure enough, you can see that the uh, image is there. So this is just a simple example of how uh, using two files and uh, a route to upload and then to an upload controller, how super easy it is to uh, upload files. And in a future video, I will be going over a package called the intervention image package. And that shows you how to manipulate images, how to resize images and add blur effects and all kinds of uh, different effects that it makes it so easy using that package. But this video is just a quick 101 how to upload images with Laravel. And I will talk to you in a future video.